Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Ian Yarwood and I am a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. Now I'd like you to think of this video as being a request for information, although the video will probably contain some information that will be new to most of you. Now let's start by mentioning a fellow by the name of Robert Picton. He was a Canadian guy and he was a pig farmer and just happens to have been one of Canada's most prolific serial killers. It is believed that he murdered a total of 49 people. On March the 10th, 2004, the government of British Columbia revealed that Picton may have ground up human flesh and mixed it with pork that he sold to the public. Another claim was that he had fed the bodies directly to his pigs. Now those of you who follow my channel will be aware that in 2002, Kotow's local pig farmer calmly walked up to Mr. Ban in broad daylight and shot six bullets into him at very close range as Mr. Ban was talking to some of his friends on Syrie Beach, Kotow. Mr. Ban, of course, was the founder and original owner of Ban's Diving Resort, which happens to be one of the biggest diving schools in the world, if not the very biggest. Now, um, coincidentally, back in 2002, that was also the year that Robert Picton was finally arrested. And more disturbing, or a more disturbing coincidence, concerns feedback that I received from several of my viewers after I published videos of Mr. Ban's assassination. They mentioned to me, and they did so apparently independently of each other, that there had been rumours that the same Kotow pig farmer had disposed of some bodies of Thais and Burmese by chopping them up and possibly even feeding them to his pigs. The pig farmer was also a butcher. Now if that did happen, then presumably the pork, the ham and the bacon from those pigs were ultimately consumed by the tourists and residents of Kotow at that time. So did you eat any pork up until 2002? And how would you feel if you did? I can tell you that I have spent a few days on Koh Tao, uh, but it happened to have been after 2002, and that at the time I was still shaking off some, some food poisoning that I'd picked up in Laos, and I know that I didn't have any uh, pig products whatsoever. I predominantly ate steamed rice. And I can just imagine, though, that uh, many of the trolls and critics of this, of this channel will launch into some blistering attacks and say that such claims are far uh, too far-fetched to be taken seriously. They will accuse me of tabloid journalism and of being alarmist. Now, I want to make two points in relation to that. Uh, firstly, this video is merely a request for information. I have a completely open mind about whether there may be any truth at all behind those rumours. Secondly, uh, with what is widely known about Koh Tao, those rumours are not far-fetched at all. In particular, it is not far-fetched for the pig farmer who murdered Mr. Ban in cold blood the way he did to also be capable of dismembering human bodies and feeding uh, those bodies to his pigs. And it might also seem far-fetched that a scuba instructor employed by Ban's diving would slice open the neck of a British tourist in front of multiple witnesses and get away with it, and to launch that attack in a very busy fishbowl beach bar. But that is what happened, save for the perpetrator, Santi Cockpool, being fired by uh, bands diving and being expelled by Paddy. It might seem far-fetched that Santi Cockpool, who was understood to be a mafia hitman, to have a brother who is a lieutenant colonel uh, in the Royal Thai Police but Saravat Cockpool does hold that rank. And in fact, I uh, do have pictures of uh, the two of them here. So that's uh, Santi on the far left and pictures of his brother in police uniform. It might seem uh, very far-fetched that Kotau police to take pictures of the semi-naked and desecrated bodies of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller and to post those pictures on the internet but they did that and they also allowed others to photograph the crime scene and the bodies. 
It might seem far-fetched that Thailand's Chief of Police in 2014-2015, General Somyot, secretly received 9.5 million US dollars via the biggest brothel in Bangkok, which coincidentally occurred at the same time that he was scapegoating two tiny Burmese workers for the murders of Hannah and David while protecting Koh Tao criminals. But that is what happened. Now it's over to you, my viewers. If you know anything about the pig farmer or anything else about uh, crime on Koh Tao, please leave a comment below and uh, or you can contact me privately. I've got uh, my email address below. And also please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already done so. And I always look forward to receiving more subscribers, but if you choose not to subscribe to this video after having watched it all the way through, I do not blame you. Uh, but look, do, I do thank you for watching all the way view, all the way through, and um, stay safe and bye for now. Bye.